<clears throat> I'm going to go over the uh, Xion deck. This is the third of uh, four decks that I reconstructed last year for an Alice Cluster only tournament. Uh, I think it happened in the summer of 2016. It was uh, at a time when a lot, of these, uh, a lot of the regalia had not yet been banned, so it's a regalia fest. Uh, so let's go over Xion. This is a Xion deck. So Xion, the ruler side, has a two blue uh, judgment. Okay? And you may look at the top card of your main deck at any time. All right. So when that says that, I want to go and talk about the uh, the will that this deck has because that is on topic with the will that it has. So it's got four uh, place it uh, what I would call the obligatory uh, place it of rulers mem uh, memoriam. Uh, it enters tapped if you don't control a regalia, but you will. And then it, when it does enter, you can uh, uh, you can get any will out of this card. It's fantastic. Then two of uh, Xion's Memoria. It's called Hymnos, Mem Hymnos Memori Memoria. But it basically, it enters tapped if you don't control Xion, and you do. Okay. Otherwise, it just produces a blue uh, will. But the main clause, the reason why I would put it in, in the Xion deck, is when it enters your Magic Stone area, name a card. Reveal the top card of your deck your deck, if it's the uh, named card, put it into your hand. And so Xion just told us that you may look at the top card of your main deck at any time. So you're going to know what it is. All right, and that's why it's there. And then four of the Moon Black, uh, Black Moon's Memoria. It produces either darkness or moon. Okay, so that is your will base for this deck, and so it was it, it, it was on point to discuss it uh, as I discussed the ruler side of Xion. So then you turn it over, and you're on the J ruler side. It's a 900-1000 uh, critter, and then I'm just going to read the clause. So I already told you what it is, 900-1000, and then let's just go read what it does. Okay, so again, when you flip it over, you can still do the same thing. You may look at the top card of your main deck at any time. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Then, when this card enters your field, reveal the top card of your, of your main deck. If it's a Resonator with total cost 5 or less, put it into your field. That's pretty good. I should read the errata for this card. But if it hasn't been errata, that's really nice. Okay? Otherwise, put it into your hand. Yeah, so when, you've, when you do Judgment, you get a card somehow, either in your field or in your hand. The God's Art ability, which you can only play once per uh, game, it's called Serenade of Rebellion for two blue. This card gains plus five, plus five until end of turn. Then it deals damage equal to its attack to target Re J Resonator your opponent controls. Okay, so uh, and so it'll deal damage and then you attack with it as well. So you get a, a two for one business or one for two, whichever way it works out. That's great. Okay, so again, like I've mentioned in the previous videos, this is all on the same playlist. And if you go to previous videos in the playlist, I would have discussed in detail many of these cards. And that's what's going to make this video fairly short when compared to the very first one deck on which I took two videos. Alright, so it's got two Levitines. It's got a Horn of Sacred Beasts. And as I mentioned before, I think the, what this card is doing is... Uh, taking your opponent down to zero will, um, restarting their will. Uh, a Death Scythe, then four of a card that I have not yet discussed because it's not in the other previous two decks, which is Heavenly Instrument Hydromonica. I really wanted to find a playset of base rarity cards because I like to put base rarity cards in decks and not the foils. I like more of the foils for my collection, put in books, but that's what I got. All right, zero cost, tap it, put the top card of your main deck on the bottom of your main deck. So this is a uh, top deck cycler. All right, so it's doing uh, scry one uh, when it, you tap it. And then two, tap it. I don't think this card is banned, by the way. I know Horn of Sacred Beasts and, uh, and Levitine are banned and the Orb of Illusion, but Death Scythe and um, Hydromonica are not banned, to my knowledge, from Wanderer. Two, tap it. Banish it to put it in your so put it in your graveyard. Tutor for a card. Search your main deck for a card. That's great. And if anybody's never played Magic, when I say the word tutor, 
is because the original card that led you search for a card in your deck came from the very first uh, set of Magic, Limited Edition Alpha, and it's called the Demonic Tutor. That, that's why ever since Demonic Tutor, every card that searches your deck is a tutor. All right, just a little aside in case you never heard of that and you're wondering why is this old dude keeps using the word tutor for searching in your deck. So search for a card. So it can be anything. It can be anything. Shuffle your main deck, put that card on top of your main deck. So you're going to use it for this thing of the, the hymnal. So it's, it's going to help your hymnal. Right? So you can draw it if it's at the top of your, of your deck. And then um, if your ruler is uh, Shion, uh, she it, which it is, you pay one less. So it's only one tap it. Discard another card named, so you discard another Hydromonica, draw a card. So if, you, if it's run out of utility for you, you can just uh, discard it and draw something else. So it replaces itself uh, if nothing's going on with it. That's pretty good. And then a double-sided card, which I have in a different type of sleeve. And it's one of these shift cards from Battle for Ataraktia. The only one, I think, the only double-sided Battle for Ataraktia card in the four decks that I reconstructed. And this one is a Prisha card, and it's a beast, and it's got shift one blue blue. So you can flip it to the other side by playing blue blue. Uh, when this card enters your field, this card and target J Resonator your opponent controls deal damage equal to their attack to each other. You pay one, one will, and this gains plus one, plus one. So that's great. So this is a, you know, a low resonator killer. Enters, boom, you, you do that, and you whack another resonator. And uh, then when you flip it, the flip is one blue, blue, and this one is one green. Um, on the flip side, when this card is put into a graveyard from your field, gain control of target resonator. That's, that's really nice. That's really nice. So there you have it, and it's got a full playset for that card in the deck. Okay, and then uh, two of this dude, and he is Lucifer. He's an angel demon. It's got flying. When this card enters your field, uh, your opponent banishes a resonator. And then for Black Moon, and you already have that uh, Black Moon's Memoria for this card. Whenever this card deals damage this turn, you gain that much life. So it's got Life Link, what we call Life Link in Magic, and you can only do it once. So it's got, so this basically, if this is a Magic card, it would say, pay Black Moon, give it, give it Life Link. And it's a 2-900-900 flyer. Nothing to laugh at, that's great. Then, uh, four... Uh, the Scorn of Dark Alice, which I've mentioned before. Okay. Then uh, a full playset of uh, Space Time Anomaly. It's minus five, minus five, and you draw a card. Then a um, full playset of Dark Perch, which says Target J, J Resonator gains minus six, minus six until end of turn. Okay for one darkness, three soul hunts, definitely a go-to card in this format, one interdimensional escape, okay, a balance for resonators, then um, two barrier of shadows, then one um, Endless Night, one Black Moon Beam, boom, uh, moon beam not Beam, not Boom Beam, Boom Beam, but Moon Beam, <laughs> just one, uh, and then two of uh, this card, which I pulled, I pulled in, the, in, a, in another video in this playlist, I pulled two of them, also first editions, and Base Rarity, which I love for decks, for deck building. It's an angel. I want to build an angel deck at some point. Maybe in this Alice Cluster Mega build at some point in the next couple of weeks or months, I'll do it. Uh, when it enters the field, you may search your main deck 
for an angel resonator with total cost four or less and put it into your field field then shuffle your main deck whenever this card attacks you gain 300 life for each angel you control wow I mean like just wow all right so uh, this is not an angel deck but it definitely helps itself so you're gonna search for the other one I guess um, didn't see a ton of angels I mean not really I mean let's go looking for angels this thing is a beast angel demon okay there's two of them this deck ain't got that many angels but it's still I mean it's a competitive deck so it's got it's doing a bunch of other really good stuff but I think I think I would want to take it up to a full place and do it build an angel deck just to have fun yeah that's what I would do as a as a casual player then this guy is one of, is, is definitely a finisher uh, he's a 5 1200 1200 this card cannot be targeted by fire or darkness spells or abilities is a knight of the round table and resonators your control your opponent controls must attack this this card of able so it's gonna w wipe out a bunch of resonators then when you tap it you give a big butt to some other resonator of yours it doesn't fly but it's still very strong then uh, three Harris, which I've already discussed in a previous video, and I think we're going to be able to go through the uh, the the uh, the sideboard very quickly because I've already discussed a lot of these cards. One Death Scythe, then uh, three Seal of Wind of Light, and Wind and Light. You have access to Moon Mana in here, or will. It's got an awakening cost, so you pay it on top of, ca uh, of the cost, kind of like kicker. You play white green, then you also pay uh, moon, and it's it cannot be countered, and it cancels target spell. I mean, tell me that's not a great card. Then two of the Blessed Holy Wolf. When this card enters your field, you may destroy target addition pretty clean and obvious uh, one barrier shadows one endless night another moonbeam another horn another Hera interdimensional escape and then uh, I'm gonna end the video with these uh, this card destroy target fire resonator so it'll counter fire it'll definitely hit Guinevere so I would I would take out a Guinevere with this one and feel happy Okay, so I'm done with the uh, Shion deck. That's three out of four. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm going to discuss the last of the four decks. I finally, finally, finally got around to these decks. I built them a year ago. I've laid them out on this, on this table twice before, all neat in their neat little piles. And I've been about to discuss them. And every single time I've said, you know, it's going to take a while. And it has, but it's. I hope it's been fun for you guys. I know I'm having a blast talking about these decks. Thank you.